All right, now we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome to my 18 year YouTube anniversary. But before we get into the festivities, we have some more current events to discuss. So that said, let's get into it. And the first thing that I wanna talk about is why I haven't been uploading much of anything really for the past few months. And if you guys have been following the channel, you'll know that my stepdad unfortunately passed away back in late November, 2023. And I went back to America to visit family and take care of business on that side of the pond. And while it was good to be back in America for the first time in over four years at that point, I wish it was under better circumstances. But it was nice to see, you know, family members that I haven't seen in many years, in person, certainly. And when I came back to Japan, I was basically working a whole bunch to, you know, get my finances back on straight after taking so much time off. And then we had holidays shortly after. So my, fi my finances were a little shaky, to say the least, for the past few months. So basically just been working my ass off for some extra months, trying to get everything back up to uh, to snuff. And thankfully, we've turned a corner and things are getting back to where they were before. Speaking of finances, <laughs> this is kind of a terrible segue. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video, guys, so I'm a little rusty on my segues, but yeah. So speaking of which, you might also notice something a little different about my recording setup now. And I'm pleased to announce that I got myself a new camera. Well, I didn't get myself anything. It was actually given to me by one of my very good friends from the States. I don't know if he'll mind if I shout him out, so we'll just keep his name anonymous, but you all know who you are and uh, couldn't think of enough. So I got myself, or he got me the Lumix GH5 camera that he had lying around. He decided that uh, he was gonna upgrade to something else and just had it lying around the closet and messaged me one day and was like, Andy, you want this camera? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that'd be awesome. So I literally just got this camera in today. I don't have a microphone for it. I don't even have the lenses cleaned off at this point. So I literally just charge the battery, turn on the light and uh, hit record. So here we are. <laughs> but I'm really looking forward to putting this camera through its paces. The GH5 has been a staple for vloggers and uh, other types of content creators for many years now. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how it performs these days and see how it compares. And just more importantly, just getting myself out there making content again. You know, I felt like after I had sold my Sony, you know, I just kind of felt like I didn't really want to make a lot of content outside with just my cell phone even though it would have been easy because I always have it with me, but I just didn't really feel right about the uh, the quality of things. That, that's kind of a major sticking point with me, just like picture quality, video quality, stuff like that. So I just kind of felt a bit hesitant to get out there and, and make stuff, but that's not to say I haven't been making anything for the past few months. And I've really been focusing content-wise on photography, actually with kind of the limited gear that I had at the time, I really focused on making the best pictures that I could with my cell phone. And now that I have this camera, I'm really looking forward to making even better photos and videos, of course. So be on the lookout for more of that quality content coming, well, I don't wanna say soon, but uh, coming, yeah. <laughs> So I also want to get a microphone for this thing because I'm literally just running it off of onboard mics. So apologies for the audio quality, but it is what it is, you know, so. We could talk about some Edit With Andy stuff and things. So I'm still working on the, uh, the major, not really tutorial, but just like a class, how to use Premiere Pro to edit videos. And still working on the outline and everything like that. Now that I have, this lovely camera. I can't wait to really start getting going with it production-wise as well. So that's what's going on with Ed with Andy. And then as for this channel, well, as I said before, you'll get the videos when you get the videos, just because of 
my very busy schedule and other commitments as well. So it is what it is. That's the life of a, a full-time worker, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't have as much time as I did when I was in university and could just sit down and make videos whenever. So it is what it is. So any, in any event, several minutes in at this point, let's finally get into the reason we're here, right? And that is celebrating my 18 years on YouTube. And it's kind of wild to to really think about just how how far I've come and how far this channel has come in that amount of time and just how far YouTube itself has come in that time, you know. When I first started back in March 1st, 2006, or March 2nd, if you're in Japan, like myself, there really wasn't a content creator scene. I'd say probably the closest to something like that would be the blogging scene. Blogging was a very popular medium at the time. It still kind of is, but not nearly as big as it was back in the uh, the 2000s to early 2010s. I'd say it was probably peak years for blogging. And because of that, there was virtually no online content creation scene. There was little, you know, groups of people, but nothing really coherent and, you know, consistent for the most part. But when I joined YouTube, that was kind of the very early days of things. And I originally joined YouTube just to be able to leave comments on other people's videos. And when I first uploaded videos, they weren't even of me, really. They were videos that my friends had that I wanted to put up on YouTube because they were burnt on VCDs. So instead of DVDs, they were VCDs. Same deal, but smaller size, obviously. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to have like a centralized place so that way we could look at those videos wherever we were in the world and we didn't have to trade CDs or burn CDs or anything like that. And that's technically how I got started on YouTube. But as far as my own videos and things like that, you know, I never really intended on becoming a YouTuber back in the day. I was perfectly fine just leaving comments and putting up random videos that my friends already had and just leaving it at that. But funny thing happens when you're on YouTube for an amount of time, and that is you start to get the itch to do it yourself. So I decided to get myself my very first camera. That was the Sanyo Zacti CG6. Got it used off of eBay for a little over a hundred bucks or so. And it was the old pistol grip style cameras. And that's how we got things rolling with the Andy San channel, as it was known at the time, and as I was known at the time as. And just made vlogs around my hometown in Salina, Ohio, kind of talking about life and what was going on during that time. And that was also the time where I joined the Navy because it was very hard for me to find a job. With uh, prospects looking a little bleak, I decided to join the Navy back in 2010, went all around the world, NII, <laughs> during that time. And that's when I really, really got into uh, travel vlogging because with all the ports and stuff we'd hit, um, I'd just make little videos of places we were at and take a lot of pictures as well. And then in 2013, over a decade ago now, which is hard to believe, <laughs> I got stationed in Yokosuka, Japan, so I was able to experience Japan for the first time. And that was one of the reasons why I decided to start doing YouTube and all this other stuff was because some of the early people that I watched on the internet were based in Japan. And watching their videos kind of gave me the motivation to make my own videos and to actually be in the same country and visit those same places that they've gone to and to meet some of those people in person was tremendous. And, you know, from 2013 to 2015, I feel, you know, that was definitely some highlight years for my YouTube channel. Personally, that's a different story, but for YouTube, most definitely, those were some highlight years for me. But all, all good things must come to an end. And in September, 2013, got out of the US Navy and decided to go back to college. 
for the first time in about a decade at that point. And so I started back up in 2016, going back to college, up in Kalamazoo, Michigan. I don't know if you guys remember those old Kalamazoo era <laughs> vlogs. Those are something else. Tried doing all kinds of different content because you know, I wasn't in Japan anymore, so couldn't really go gallivanting around Tokyo vlogging about stuff at that time. So I tried all kinds of different things. I tried Let's Plays, tried streaming a little bit, just all kinds of stuff. But I always came back to vlogs, you know, the thing that really started it all for my channel. And, you know, just a lot of stuff happened in the old personal life. Moved back in with my folks, then moved in with my brother to get going again with college and got accepted to a university out here in Japan, Lakeland University, Japan, my now alma mater. But finally worked really hard to boost my GPA and save up and eventually made the move back to Japan at the tail end of 2019. I think it was just a few days shy of New Year's for 2020. And little did I know of what would happen in the ensuing years during my time coming back to Japan. I figured I would just be finally able to enjoy the country unrestricted and be able to meet with locals and socialize and get myself out there. But the world had other plans to say the least, but where there's chaos, there's opportunity, as someone once said. And so it was during that time where I picked up a lot of work as a freelance video editor and videographer. A lot of different businesses needed help with putting together stuff and with the country on lockdown, they didn't have a whole big pool of talent that they could look to to help them with that and with the, what they were looking for. So got recommended through friends of friends and through other references of past work as well and just slowly built up my resume, built up my presence in the media world here in Japan. And things are going pretty good for a number of years, as far as that goes. You know, aside from school, I was able to make a pretty decent amount of money just making videos for other people, editing, shooting, sometimes both, depending on the project, and making my own vlogs as well for the uh, Andy Japandi series, among other things. But again, all good things must come to an end. And while I was able to get a lot of work and was able to sustain myself with freelance video editing and all those other things, unfortunately, it wasn't really able to give me a visa. So I had to look for work elsewhere. And after applying to pretty much every company under the sun that I could and going to so many interviews and everything like that, finally gained employment here in Japan, but not just any old place in Japan, in the Shonan area of Japan. So for me, this was like a top uh, triple S tier pick for myself because not only did I want to stay in Japan, obviously, but I wanted to move to the Shonan area of Japan. That's the uh, Southern coast in the Kanagawa prefecture, which is a prefecture just south of Tokyo, for those wondering. I have a lot of friends out this way and I've always wanted to move down here. I visited a whole bunch and just loved the area, loved the vibe, loved the people down here. Just the more laid back, easygoing lifestyle down here versus up in the city side areas of Tokyo or Kawasaki, which I was at before. And now, got myself all moved out here to Chigasaki and just really enjoy myself, you know, and with the weather now warming up and on season coming very soon for the Shonan area. While the crowds are going to be a little hard to deal with <laughs> in some regards, I really can't wait to actually be living here while this stuff is going on and just kind of see Shonan in that way and to make more friends and more videos and really showcase this place a bit more because, you know, everybody in Japan who has like a YouTube channel or anything like that, you know, they typically cover Tokyo and maybe Osaka, maybe Kyoto on the off, off trip or whatever. 
But for the most part, it's Tokyo-based content. And while there's nothing wrong with that, it's just there's a huge supply, to say the least, of that type of content. So, you know, I'd love to showcase this area, which is often overlooked, aside from summertime, you know, going to Enoshima or Kamakura or other spots in Japan, mostly in that area. But yeah, just want to show off the local area and hit up some spots that not a lot of other YouTubers have gone to. Yeah, 18 years. It comes pretty fast. And to think that, you know, some college dropout kid from nowhere, Ohio, will now be living by the beach in Japan, still making videos after all these years, is really a trip to say the least. So while I've certainly had my ups and downs with YouTube as well as in life, overall, things are looking pretty good. So yeah, with that said, this is Andy, signing for now. And as always, and for the past 18 years now, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Film